Welcome to example program. In this tutorial, we will see the conversion of a decimal number to its binary equivalent. So what we do is we will take a number in decimal, for example, let us say 254 and we will convert that to its binary equivalent. So when we have a number in decimal number system, the base is 10. A base is nothing but the maximum number of digit symbols present in a number system. In decimal number system, we have 10 digit symbols, 0 to 9. And for the binary number system, the base is 2, that is the maximum number of digit symbols present in a binary number system is 2 and they are 0 and 1. So we will convert the number which is in decimal number system to its binary number system equivalent. And in this tutorial, we will be using a method called as repeated division by 2 method, which is nothing but when we have a number in a decimal number system, to convert it to binary, we start dividing that number by 2, we look at the quotient and remainder value. So now let's see how we can do this. Let us say the number that we have in the decimal number system is 254. So what we do is we will take this number and we divide it by 2. While doing this, we will consider the quotient and remainder value. Now when we divide 254 by 2, the quotient value that we get is 127 and the remainder value that we get is uh, 0 because 2 will divide uh, 254 completely you know 2 multiplied by 127 is 254 now this 127 is the quotient and this 0 is the remainder value so in this repeated division method what we do is we take the quotient value we will keep on dividing the quotient value until we get the quotient value which is equal to 0. So here we will divide this 127 again by 2 and we will uh, take the quotient and remainder value. So at this time it will be 63 and we will get the remainder 1. Again we divide 63 by 2 and uh, this time it will be 31 and the remainder value is 1 and again we will do the same thing so 31 divided by uh, 2 it will be 15 and remainder is 1 again we will do it so it will be 7 remainder is 1 again we will do it 2 3 is a 6 and the remainder is 1 and again 2 1 is a 2 and the remainder is 1 and again 2 0 because 2 will not divide 1 completely and the remainder we get is 1. Now since we have got the quotient as 0, we will stop dividing and we will take a look at the remainder value that we have uh, got. The first remainder value that we get is called as the least significant bit and the last remainder value that we got is called as the most significant bit. So in the binary number system, when we write the number from left to right, we will start with the most significant bit and we will move towards the least significant bit. So here this remainder value contains the binary digit representation of this number 254. While writing this number in binary, we start with the most significant bit, you know, when we write it from left to right. So it will be one. Then we will write this one like this, then this one, then this one, after that this one, after that this one, then this and after that finally the least significant bit so which is 0. And here the number that we have in the left side is the most significant bit and the number that we have in the right side is the least significant bit. So this is the binary representation of the number 254. So this is how we can convert a number which is in decimal number system to binary number system by using the repeated division by 2 method. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.